BS. So let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I got some really interesting material here, such as the fact is in my excursions into, into Egyptology, because I used to be really fascinated with it. When I first, when my first book was published in 2006 called Lost Scriptures of Giza, I have devoted two chapters to the Egyptian theology. What the what is found, what is truly found in the Egyptian Book of the Dead? What's found in the coffin texts, what we find in the pyramid texts, what we find in the wall text, all the temples in Karnak, from Karnak, all, all throughout oh, Waset and, and Thebes. No, guys, this might hurt some of your feelings. There isn't a hint of the zodiac or any knowledge of the zodiacal signs in all of Egyptian history. Nothing. This gets deep, guys. It kind of makes you wonder who built who built the zodiac of, of Dendera and why. We already know the historical record tells us it was the Ptolemies. And when you research who the Ptolemies were, it was 500 years after Egypt fell. They were Greeks, descended from Macedon. But they built it during the Roman height, when Rome was at its height of power. A lot of things happened at this time, as we're going to see in this presentation. A lot of new things appeared in the world, all at the same time, during the height of Roman power. Remember, my brother Martin Leakey and I, and we have to include Max Egan, because even though Martin, Martin and I initiated the research and the revelations, Max Egan took it to another level and found proof after proof after proof that we were right concerning the Great Wall of China was actually built, funded, and protected by Romans, not the Chinese. Yeah, deep. We got those videos, guys. So...